Ready. All right, we're live. I am Corey Ladovsky. Coming on today is our guest, Henry. Henry, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Here hanging out, you know, in um, containment. What's the word? What's quarantine. The word? Quarantine, yeah. I'm in quarantine right now. Sipping on some H2O. Nice. The old classic. wine glass because I just ran out of wine. Yeah, well, also because it's class is still technically happening yeah that too (laughs) all right okay (laughs) so how how are you spending your quarantine all right so i am definitely um actually you won't believe this or um but i've been learning more about hooks and stuff okay um learning more about react and like learning about a lot of like of, like there's a lot of libraries out there man that can make your website really dope well like uh, which ones i just recently used the um the dark mode so it's basically just a toggle function and yeah it just uses like it just uh i don't know how to explain it but it's like i even learned like a whole new syntax like the back ticks in order to like uh to get into your css Okay. So you could like switch it. Like on switch, it grabs the other CSS element. So oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I could send you the documentation if you want. Yeah. But it's it. called uh React. I forgot the name of it. Uh React something. I forgot. But my idea, well, it was like a it was like a rabbit hole because my idea was to create a couple of buttons on my website that could change the color of the website so like let's say if it was like like you have a button there that was red blue so you click on it and then change the whole website to red blue cool. so i ended up like getting into the dark mode thing and it was pretty pretty that's cool. very cool would you be excited to hear that i wrote a lab for that exact same thing when we learned context api in seriously week? yeah oh man so i'm ahead of the ball yeah you just i mean you're gonna have to write it from scratch and not the library but it's gonna be good so good. I kind of under. I actually went into the library, right, and I saw it, and then I actually went in depth. Like I wanted to see how it worked under the hood, and I looked into it. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, I've been doing that. I've been doing Code Academy. Um, a lot of Code Academy actually. I've even like started Python. What? In Code Academy, yeah. Okay. So, like I have I'm not in in. Like I'm not. I haven't started Python yet. I just did like the first couple labs. Like I haven't even installed it in my computer yet. But once I get in depth, it's over. Wow. How, why? Why? Time, why did you choose Python? Uh, I don't know. I'm bored. But people keep telling me to do Ruby. Yeah, Ruby. Why not? Why not Ruby? Yeah. Huh? That is true. Like I was. Um, we went to that um place. We went to Just Works. Yep. They're Rails. They, um, they have a uh, what's it called? They use they use rubies, no? Ruby on Rails, yeah. Yeah, Ruby on Rails, yeah. So I'm I'm a, I gotta look into that as well. But I've been biking as well. Like where, you, biking. where do you where do you bicycle? In the in the crib. In the crib. Yeah, in the house. It's a big crib. Yeah, it's a huge crib. You bicycling in your house for real? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to show us your house? Not my house. No, I'm not showing you my house. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to show us the house. Uh, all right, all right. Why describe the house? What's going on in the house? Nothing, man. I'm just in a room chilling, watching TV. Oh, I've also started Silicon Valley. Oh yeah, that's a good show. That's a great. I'm telling you, it's a great show. It's not really much about coding it's been, though. It's been on for years. I I know. I'm surprised how good it is. But uh, what's it called? Um, it's not like surprisingly, it doesn't talk about coding as much. It's mostly focused on the business side of like startups and stuff. Well, that's what's interesting to most normal humans i guess but i was like at first i was looking into like what they were talking about and the language and like it's very broad in terms of like computer language but in terms of the business aspects like there's a lot of gems in there that i'm just like oh okay cool yeah that's cool How, who do you live with uh people yeah who <laughs> my folks you live with your parents yeah you got siblings there yeah how many siblings are there not here right now nobody it's just me no, but like staying, living there. Oh, living with uh three? Oh, two. My brother and my sister. Older, younger? Uh, My brother's older and my sister's younger. I'm in the middle. How old is your brother? Uh, 30. 
Okay, what's he do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what he does? <laughs> like he just he works at uh, Radio Music City Hall. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah. you d- totally know what he does. And that's that's all I know. He does. That's oh, I- are you guys close? <laughs> nah, not really. What about with your younger sister? Uh, my little sister, she's a homemade. A oh, health aid, health aid. Wait, what? So she's like, she helps old people in their house. Oh, okay. Still yeah. during the pandemic? Yeah, still, especially now, actually. Oh. They need her now, yeah. So she's still working. My, my mom does the same thing as well, so. Is it is it a family business or they just? Nah, it's not a family business. I wish. I would not be a pursuit. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> I'll be holding down the business. <laughs> couldn't you still go into that? Couldn't you start your what own? What happened? Couldn't you start your own business and still do that? Yeah, the, I guess. I mean, if it was, if it, I guess if like they need, like if it was a family business, I guess they would need like a website, right? So I'll yeah. have to do it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know. What about, um? how old is your sister? Uh, 22. Okay. Are you guys close? Yeah, where she's my best friend. Really? Yeah, that's my homie, Suma. What are some of her secrets? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i tell you i tell you like how close we are um yeah. he has a four-year-old and i'm the godfather oh that's cool do you do the voice what happened do you do the voice no i'm talking about like baptism like <laughs> like in the catholic religion like, yeah get... no i know but do you oh, also yeah. just do the voice no no <laughs> <laughs> don't ever talk about my grandchild you come to the day of my wedding of my sister <laughs> Come, come to me. Come. come. Exactly. Oh, that's I, really cool. Do you I like her husband? What is, she, is she married? No, nah, she's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, uh, what, hap- what happened with the guy? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't he's know. not around? He's not around. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, we're, is he, uh, my sister's better off anyways. Oh, it was, yeah, he's one of those guys. Yeah, he's, he's a loser. What about... um? You said you have another sibling too, or how many siblings? Uh, there's seven of us, Whoa. and I am number you guys, six. You guys are religious, yeah? My folks, well, my mm. mom, my mother wants to claim to be religious, but like none of her kids. Yeah, but she's having kids like she's religious. Like yeah, she's religiously having kids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People who are really religious, like a lot of the time, they got a lot of kids. Now nah, my mom, she's 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 interesting. So there's seven, how many bedrooms are in the house? No, nah, not, so we're old now. So the, her last three are still in the house. But her first four are out in the world. They have families, they're married. Oh, how, how old's your oldest sibling? She is 30. No, she is 40, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, my oldest she, sibling. What does she do? Uh, same thing, homemade. She's a health aide. They all do that? Yeah, all three women in the household, they do, uh, in the family, they do um, health aid. Yeah. But my sister, my oldest sister, the 40-year-old, she just gave birth. Oh, wow. Muscle top. Yeah, she just gave birth. Uh, so she's been in maternity leave, and then the whole virus started, so she's been at home. That kind, that is, is she disappointed that, like, this is kind of overlapping her maternity leave? Nah, I, don't, I think it's 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 perfect because I think she will still have to go to work anyway. So. Oh right. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. that makes sense. So her the company she works at is called Healthy. Health Aid. Oh, health I don't know aid. the name of the company, but they're Health Aids. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Aid. Aid. Yeah, A I D E. What's What's your dad do? My dad is a super. Of the of the building you're in. Uh, no, no. In a, like he just he's just a super in another building that we don't live in he doesn't want to live in that building oh no nah he chose not to live there so he's like so what's a super do they're really handy or what yeah my father he's really versatile like he deals with like anything that's like in the moment so like if there's like a quick plumbing issue he'll deal with it if there's like anything with electricity he'll deal with it uh but he most most of his thing, uh, his primary job is to make sure the building is running smooth, so like everything's working. So any complaints that the tenants have, he'll take care of it, which is annoying because the phone rings twenty four seven. Oh, that building sounds like it's got a lot of problems. <laughs> nah, it's just, just tenants are always like they always want something to get fixed. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. 
So it no, could be a little bit annoying sometimes. No, he's always running out. Always. He's always at work. Always. It's like, come on, bro. You ever go to work with him? Hell no. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that? Nah, bro. Uh, I mean, I feel like uh, my parents, uh, they've been like, uh, we've been privileged enough that we they let us choose whatever we want to do, you know? So, so what do you want to do? What's your dream? No, I want to do this. <laughs> Now I definitely see myself in like definitely working with uh if not now maybe in the near future working with uh like a lot of with companies you know and like with a lot of what companies media companies oh yeah you want to get into media yeah I do actually I feel like I like before pursuit I I thought I, I, like I, I could see myself like in uh like in health tech you know and like working with like you know insurance companies and like health insurance companies and see what was up but as i started pursuing and like looking into tech and stuff it's a big world you know so i figured you know if it's, like i had to sit down again and like really reconsider what my passions are and stuff and you know i i definitely see that my passions is is drifting away from the health sector and like i want to do more like you know more outreach and stuff outreach yeah That's i definitely i want to do more yeah i definitely want to do more outreach so like <clears throat> i definitely want to like give back like if everything goes well i definitely want to come back to the like my neighborhood and like i want to create programs that's gonna like reach to young kids like like cs programs cool gonna like reach to like kids in urban communities what's your what's your neighborhood like uh well I'm well the neighborhood I live in I wasn't raised there but I was raised in the South Bronx, so yeah okay. it was a lot I, I had a great experience like a lot of people are saying like oh you know it's the South Bronx and but the, me personally I like some of my like best friends like some of the my greatest experience happened in the South Bronx like I had like I remember playing for my first soccer team there. I remember going to school there, having, like, a really, like, yeah, it's the hood, so, like, you're always going to see things there. But, like, at the same time, like, it was such a small community that the the bodega guy, you know, he knew my mom. So, like, if I was messing up, you know, he was going to tell her. Oh, you know? God. So, it was, like, everybody, everybody had each other's back, so. Wow, that's nice. I guess that's nice. Yeah. Wouldn't want the bodega guy to dime on you, though. I mean, everybody knew each other, so it was like the bodega guy was basically my uncle. So, <laughs> so it was like you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, the time back then was different. I don't think the bodega guy would snitch on me now. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, but man. like as a kid, he he knew that I was coming in there every morning. He knew that my mom was working, you know, certain hours a day, you know, and she was working hard. So, you know, if I was probably like in the street doing like nonsense and stuff, he you know, you'd be like, yo, what are you doing? So he looked out, you know, people, yeah. people like that in the neighborhood. They were, they were, there was always somebody like that in the neighborhood. Looking That's out. nice. We also had like a nosy old lady always sitting at the, by her window. Like that is real. I didn't know that. Really? That is a real thing. How old was she? Oh, we never knew, but we knew that she wasn't, she wasn't dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> like she was, was the window old. open? Huh? The With the window was... open, and all she did was sit out in the window and just look at everything that's going on in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, she just knew everything, like everything, everything. But like when you asked her, like, "Yo, what happened? Like, did you see anything?" She never saw anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like, ah, was, yeah, she was just there. She's all you know her name. I forgot her name. I for, I forgot, but like she was always there though. That's all. Did she I have know. children. She had children, and they didn't live in the neighborhood. Like, they would always come and visit her. Huh. Yeah. Like, they moved. They loved. They, it looked like they had good jobs, too, because they had nice cars the whole nine. Um, but, yeah, she she was there. But last thing I, I heard of her, she was in the nursing home, so I don't know. No, she's probably yeah. dead from COVID. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Too, too involved in everybody's life. Word. <laughs> No, nah, but it's been it's been uh how many years has it been now? It's been about like fifteen years since I left that the South Bronx. Where are you living now? Well, I still live in the Bronx, but it's like 
mostly in the west side and mostly in the west bronx you get close to manhattan it, what's uh what kind of is there a big difference between the west bronx and the south bronx i mean if you're from the bronx you're from the bronx but um i would say the south bronx is 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 the hood hood you know it's the like it, it's 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 aggressive that's the word what's that mean what tell me tell me about that what's that mean it's just you gotta hold up a certain demeanor like i'm not gonna say like you know be be scared or like be aware or no nah, it's not it's nothing like that like if you walk in the south Bronx, nobody's gonna bother you but like a certain demeanor certain behavior you have to carry like don't be nosy <laughs> you know go about your business what happens if you're nosy oh uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> good luck <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what will happen if you like people might react differently, you know, like yeah. people might curse you out, you know, people might, you know, get violent physically, you know. I don't know. Oh yeah. So that's it's pretty rough. Know. You never know. So yeah. So like growing up, you always had to like have a certain Yeah. Just go about Binders your day. on, yeah. Yeah, just just go by your day. So, yeah. Oh man. I mean, even I think that's like a such a New York thing. Like we all do it subconsciously, you know. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you just try not to look. Yeah, you just even like I've seen th- situations where you know you see a homeless person in the train, or, like in the, in the subway, and people just walk past him. Nobody wants to ask him no questions or nothing. They just walk past him. That's yeah. us walking, you know, with our blinders on. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, so like, spend your whole life being taught to be a good person, and you you know you. When you someone like looks like they need help, you're just like, oh, oh my God, do you need help? And yeah. then you come to New York after about a week, someone's like, help, help me. Uh, and you're just like, no, I don't have anything. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah exa- exactly, exactly. And you feel exactly. so bad. Yeah, that's what such a New York thing. It's a little dehumanizing. I mean, yeah, it is. Isn't that nature too? Like I always go to, every time I leave New York and I go to other cities and people tell me good morning, I usually don't, like it sounds weird, but I usually don't know how to take it in. And I was just like... <laughs> What the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> hey, you say yeah. good morning to me, huh? You what, you say good morning? What? You don't know what kind of morning I've had. <laughs> Think you're better than me? <laughs> Why? Just because you said good morning? What? You woke up in a good mood? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, right. That's an oxymoron. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, as of, it sounds, it sounds, it sounds bad. But as of late, I've had a lot of good mornings. Yeah. So you, yeah. are you? Uh, are you enjoying this quarantine at it all? It sounds, I mean, I, I need to choose my words carefully, but yes, I am. <laughs> I think a lot of people are enjoying the quarantine. I am like, like having, you know, working eight hours and then going to class and then waking up and then doing it again. Yeah. And now that I, I just eliminated the whole work factor. So like, you're not I'm working just, at all right now, right? No, I'm not. I'm not at all. What was your job prior? I would work, well, all right, so before Pursuit, I was a coach for the, I used to work in, in the academy for the New York Red Bulls. Cool. For the MLS. That's and awesome, um, right? after that, I realized that I didn't want to be a coach anymore, so I, I was looking for new outlets, and then I found Pursuit. Now, if I remember correctly, you told me that as a soccer coach, you had an undefeated record, is that is that correct? That is true. I did have an undefeated record, not to brag. Um, uh, it's not, I, and I don't think that was the best part of it. I think the best part of it was um, the kids. I really generally loved the kids. Like, they were really cool kids. Do you keep um, in contact with the kids? I keep in contact with the parents, not the kids. What's the parents? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Really? <laughs> well, I, how old are the kids? 11. Oh, yeah, that might be a little... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the parents I took to the parents you know just checking up on them like yo how they know how's the new teams and stuff like that and they always send me videos on the kids like just yesterday uh one of my girls she's 11 now and um she just knows she knows how to like she's not she hasn't perfected the, the dribbling without hitting the ground yet but okay. she, she knows how to dribble she knows how to like make the ball bounce without touching the ground and I'm just like before and it's crazy because before I left, I was teaching her how to do it. Like I was like teaching her how to do it in increments. So like you kick it up once, let it bounce once, and then kick it up again, and like just create a rhythm. And now she's like kips, it. huh? Like, kips. What? What you mean? Like kips. kicks? Like 
Like, keep it up. Keep it yeah, up. In yeah. The air. yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she does it. Now she knows how to just keep the ball up in the air. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, you taught her that. And that and then- yeah, man. Those, I mean, that's, uh, yeah, uh, coaching was such a surreal experience for me because, like, going to college, I always said, like, I was never going to teach. And then I started coaching, and it just meant, like, it was different. It was a whole different experience. Like, now, even now, like, I, I just give educators, like, a lot of credit. Like, it takes a lot to teach somebody a new skill, you know? For sure, yeah. Uh, so, so why'd you leave? My, there was no growth. I wasn't being challenged. Uh, yeah. We were winning a lot of games, and honestly, I wasn't being challenged at all. Uh, I was like, the kids came out of it, you know, loving it. Like, they were growing, but me personally, I wasn't growing. I just kept teaching the same thing every year, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not being challenged. Yeah. Um, I'm not growing professionally. I'm just stuck here. So, how many years did you teach uh, or coach for? Two years. Two years. And what, for those two years, I only lost three games. Wow. Yeah. Nice. What about like trying to teach uh, our coach high school soccer or something? I've actually coached junior high school volleyball. Oh, interesting. How'd that go? That was pretty cool. We ended up um, getting third place. Like, I only did it for one fall. Did and you play volleyball? Yeah, I played volleyball in high school and college. They had a boys team? Men's team in college, yeah. And boys team in high school. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think my high school had a boys team. Yeah, we was not. I would, it's, it's funny because uh, we were ranked number two in the whole city the year I played. Wow, cool. Yeah, we, were, we were good. So I mean, did you have to play all the positions of volleyball or how does that work? Are you like all right, center? so there is, there is six positions, obviously. No, there's, there's – all right, so you have the setter. That's the guy who – who yes yeah, that's you the ball. yes that's the ball you have the libero libero is a defensive specialist so he's the smallest guy in the team right? what do they do yeah they, they defend the backcourt so like the hitters right they hit down and the, the job of the libero is to pick it up from the bot from the goal. okay so they're the shortest people so they're in the back so they have better view of the court and they have they could get to the ball faster huh yeah, and then you had your middle player. Your middle player is usually your best hitter. That's the Giants? That's the Giants, the Giants. Yeah. Okay. Those are your best hitters. And then you have the outside hitter, and then you have a weak side. So your weak side hitter is – it plays double roles. So he's your secondary setter, but not okay. your best hitter. Okay. Yeah. And then you have an outside. He's usually your most consistent hitter. It's the smartest player in the court, knows how to hit. Knows how to angle it. So everybody in the court has a specific role. So what was your role? <clears throat> in high school, I played setter, weak side, and yeah, those two positions. Nice. I had good. I have good hands. Like I could set really good. And then in college, I played my first two years. I played libero, and then my last two years, I played outside. Cool. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Man, what college did you go to? I went to Lehman. It was in the Bronx. It's in the Bronx. Yeah. What did, uh, you, did you graduate? I, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the reason – it was a weird situation why I didn't graduate. The reason why I didn't graduate is because in my last year, I was interning for the Red Bulls. Okay. Right? And I did it through my school, right? Right. But before I graduated, Red Bulls had already offered me a job. So you so left. I just <laughs> what happened? So you left? Yeah, I left. I just took the job and I was just like, whatever. So you had done four years of college at that point? Uh, close. Close. I, I'm, I need one more year, which I'm planning into. I'm actually, because like, I feel like computer science or like just coding in general and tech in general just have just take, have played like a big part in my life that I feel like I should just pursue it full time. So I'm actually thinking of going after pursue, I'm actually thinking of going back to school and pursuing a CS degree. Why? What? Just, just cause I need, I need, you know, just cause. Cause you'd be able to get a job without one still. I know, but like you know, your parents, they they keep my parents, they keep nagging me about. A, a oh really? They wanted you to graduate. What what had you been majoring in? Exercise science. 
Inter science science? Exercise science. So oh, kin- exercise. the study of kinesiology. So Oh, so you know all the bones and yeah. muscles and whatnot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. So what are what's all the muscles that are involved when you do a pull up? Uh so you have your delts, you have your shoulders, you have your biceps, your tries, your pecs, everything's involved. Nice. And your abs, your abs. Abs too, right? Yeah, yeah abs, too. yeah, abs are involved. Interesting. You need a strong core to like actually I was gonna recommend it the stronger your core, the better your pull ups. Yeah, because you don't move, right? Yeah, because your core is, is providing stability. So nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I used to work out a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah? Well, you're a marathon runner. Yeah. Yeah, actually. And I started biking, so I might consider getting my swimming better so I could start doing triathlons. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Yeah. Eventually, eventually, yeah. How is your swimming? It's terrible. Oh, really? I could do, like, a lap and, like, rest for, like... I could do a lap and maybe, like... What's a lap? A lap is... How many yards is that? 100 meters, right? 100 meters, Okay. I say I do one hundred meters. How long is that gonna take me? That probably is gonna take me like a good three minutes, right? Okay. I, I <laughs> and I rest know. for five. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like, if you think about it in that region, you're not in swimming shape. <laughs> now I'm definitely not. But it's also because my atten- I feel like my attention deficit too, because like I'll I'll swim, I'll swim, but I'm looking at the same thing all the time. Oh That's yeah. That's another reason why I can't run in a treadmill. You have ADD. No, I don't. Oh, okay. But, like, whenever I'm in the treadmill, I feel so, like, anxious. Like, I just want to get out and just go out. Yeah, like, right. If I'm going to run, might as well run outside, you know? I like the uh, I like the, in, the level of impact from a treadmill. I don't. <laughs> I don't like as much. I don't like the impact running on concrete. Yeah, I don't like the whip, too. Like, as soon as I get out the the treadmill, I'm, like, like, you ever felt, like, when you get out of treadmill, it's like you still feel like you're in a treadmill. You still feel like you're being pushed. <laughs> I don't think I've run on one long enough. Oh, okay. But, but I always feel, like, as soon as I get off a run on a treadmill, I feel like I'm still going. Like, I do know the feeling you're talking. I used to um, I used to be a professional hula hooper. Okay. Um, and and uh, uh, when I was a kid and stuff. So I, and when I, and at some points in my life, I would hula hoop for hours on end. Yeah. And then, yeah, when I would stop, like, I would still feel like my hips were moving a little bit in that, like, that circle. And, like, it would last, it would last, like, all night. Was, you know, I'd wake up, it would be done, but I'd be, like, bruised up on my hips because it was... Oh, wow. Is it that intense? Well, I would, I would hoop for a long time with multiple... Okay, I, I think this is, like, special hoops, right? The special... It's not the ones you get at the toy store, right? Uh, well, I mean, I used to, like, I used to really like Whammo hoops. Uh, What's that? It's just a brand of hoop. Uh, okay. But plug, like, plug alert. What is it? I said plug alert. Oh uh, yeah, fine. yeah. Uh, Whammo is the sponsor of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Whammo. <laughs> They're terrific. Uh, but yeah, I, I was like really into. I had a whole. I actually had a whole show where like I would end up doing twenty five hula hoops and. We, my father and I would like made hula hoops and I was like a street performer at different fairs, but I got hired and booked a few times too for mm-hmm. shows. That was my, that was my first life. That's the thing. That was years ago. Nah, that's dope though. That, I would have never guessed that. That's something I don't think anybody knows about me at Pursuit, except that's for you up. now. And yeah, that's what's listen up. This long. So, and what's the job you're doing while you're at Pursuit? Um, so right now I wear... Well, I used to work at a front desk in a gym. Nice. So you get yeah. to, do you get to work out for free? Yeah, I, I, I did have access to work out for free, but like, I didn't want to be there while I wasn't at work. Why? You know, I didn't want to be there. Like if I wasn't working, I didn't want to be there. Like, what was the point? To work out. I guess, but like, I don't want to see my boss while I'm working out. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Your boss is always around? Yeah, always around. And she was dope. Um she was she was really cool. She would like give me all these access to like she because we also had a pool in there. So she'd be like, Oh, if after work you wanna go swim, do what you we had a we have oh, a sauna, nice. we have a steam room there. So like she was like, Yeah, Yo, if you wanna go after work, you know, do what you gotta do. 
I, the only thing I used to do after work was take showers. So I take a shower and then be out. Because they oh, also had like good lotion and good toiletries. So um, like, we use that. So you'd shower at work. Yeah, I'll shower at work. I, I, I do that at Pursuit too, but everyone gives me weird looks in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you weird looks too. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really. Oh. I would use the handicap stall. Just use the toilet water. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not doing that. Um, you shower once a day or twice a day, or more? Three times a day. You shower in the summer, three times a day. In the summer, three times a day. Uh, regularly twice. Your morning and night. Yeah, morning and night. Usually, yeah. And then in the summer, when's that third time? Third time, I usually just take, like, whenever, as soon as I get home. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it would be morning, as soon as I get home, and then in the night. When do you exercise? Uh, mornings, usually mornings. Before you shower? Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, like, I'll get up, brush my teeth, go out, and work out. And then I'll come back, take a shower every the whole night. I see. Do you wear cologne? Uh, do I wear cologne? It depends on the occasion. I've been trying, I've been, as of late, I've been trying to look for my scent, you know? I knew it. I yeah. knew it. How do you know that? I just, you know, people who shower three times a day, I think, like, also want to wear cologne. I mean, I don't wear it regularly because I don't stink. But yeah, when no, I go I know out, that. You shower three times a day. How could you? <laughs> In the summer. Not right now. Yeah, but you're, that's, like, very, like, hygiene and, like, wanting to take care of yourself. So I imagine you might want a, a cologne scent. Yeah, um, I used to, yeah, I wear, right now, I'm wearing Prada. Ooh, right the now. devil wears Prada. Right now, yeah, right now. Uh, but I'm looking at, like, independent um, cologne um, yeah. companies and go more, um, you know, low-key. Does Birchbox have, like, a cologne thing or something? Birchbox? Well, Birchbox is, like, a makeup thing, I think. I don't That's know if they cool. have, like, a Ben's version. Birchbox. Um, Oh, like what how how are you find how do you find a how do you find your colognes? It's a journey, bro. <laughs> yeah, like you just like if you smell if you walk by if you were on the subway and you smell a guy that smells all right, do you ask him like what kind of cologne he has? I actually would. I would yeah. be like, hey, what is that? And then like uh, strike a conversation. I actually have a couple of friends who their the colognes they're using right now is pretty good. There's this one company, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Le, Le Labo. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it either. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a it's a it's a it's a cologne company and it's a unisex com the cologne company, perfume okay. company. So like but the scent is so it's by far the best one I've smelled so far and I want to get my hands on that. What's that scent? What's it called? Oh uh, I don't all right, let's see. Let's see. And the perfumes are a little pricey. How much is a perfume? Uh, let's see. Oh, I used well my my old partner. She used to use the the noir. I don't know how to noir. The noir. N O I R. Yeah, noir. Noir. It's a film genre for like those oh, old okay. movies where it's like okay, okay. the detective. Like I saw her there, shining there with the red hair and the smell of a cigarette smoke. Like you know, like that kind of. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. yeah, I thought that, but yeah, that um, yeah, a a little a little bottle costs two hundred bucks. It's actually more expensive than the Prada. Whoa. Yeah. That is pricey. Yeah, it is pricey. Yeah. Are you uh are you using beard oil as well? That's yeah. I had a friend who made me a custom beard oil. Whoa, good friend. What happened to them? What happened? What happened to that friend? No, they still they still do the oils. Oh, they still make it for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, you know, I got to support the community, you feel me? Oh, I feel you. Yeah. What's the scent? What's the beard oil scent? Um, I, Well, the, my friend, uh, they asked me, like, if, if what what kind of scent I was aiming for. I usually like, like, piney scents. Oh, so I told them, I was like, yo, go for the piney scent. And, like, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I use it every time I shower. Like, every time I get out of the shower. That's a lot around. of times a day, too. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, you want to shout out your friend's business in case anyone listens and wants to. Um, my friend is actually practicing still, but I, rest assured, as soon as like they get established, I am shouting them out. Okay, good yeah, to know. Definitely. 
I'm I'm like the guinea pig right now. So yeah, you're trying it out. Yeah, I'm how many compliments out. you get on your beard smell? Nah, I don't. I don't really. I'm I'm trying to get my feedback. I'm not trying to. <laughs> All right. I really look for the compliments. No, no, that's yeah. very cool. Yeah. All right. Oh uh, well. Thanks. Uh, anything we didn't cover that you want to cover? Uh. I just want to commend Pursuit on a great job on going remote. Like, by far the most flawless transition of all time. Yeah, you thought it went pretty well, right? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty dope. So It, yeah. could, it was crazy for us, too, because um, we had the group project presentation on the next day. Yeah, right. So, like, I don't know. I think, I think your stock went up, Corey, because, like, you did that flawlessly. Oh, thanks. That's really too kind you don't have to say that <laughs> i like that thank you for the compliment yeah. i mean that's all you guys i mean you built really killer projects look great yeah. yeah i'm looking forward to the react stuff though oh man yeah react redux this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of fun yeah this i'm looking great. forward for that lab too that that button lab oh yeah that's gonna be context api i'm so pumped up that was supposed to i was supposed to teach that when i was away Mm -hmm. so I, I didn't get to but we moved it but yeah i have like uh, i got a pretty good lesson i think planned for that and this lab i think looks pretty fun oh, um, yeah. i'm like i just i'm really excited for that oh, cool 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 yeah so all right well yeah, thanks so much for coming on we really appreciate having you and i'll see you later all right cool thank you